So this is going to be a quick overview on Fractal Bitcoin network, which is the fork and sidechain for Bitcoin. And just to show you the example, you can see that if you're going to go to your Unisa wallet in the latest version, you can see that we have a possibility to choose from different networks like mainnet, testnet, and also we've got Fractal, which is in beta now. And everything is in testnet right now, so it's not really money, but you can definitely play around it. And maybe because you use that on testnet, maybe when it comes to the official FB token, which is going to be the native Fractal token, uh, maybe you're going to get the allocations. So I just want to show you how we can essentially prepare for everything what is coming to Fractal. So I'm going to link this tweet down below so you can follow it step by step. But I made a few guides already how you can prepare. So one of these guides is essentially a quick overview and essentially what to look at, what features they're going to be adding, uh, what company essentially work together and what they're going to be launching. Like, for example, the main company behind Fractal is Unisat and also they're working with different products like, for example, Uniwords. So this is a pure speculation, what might be useful uh, when it comes to Fractal, like for example, Pizza token, which essentially Pizza is the token from Unisat, which was completely for free. So maybe by holding Pizza, you can get a certain amount of allocation. Of course, I'm just speculating because they have to find some utility uh, for the Pizza tokens. And also Uniwords is the another uh, protocol that I'm speculating it might have something to do with Fractal, which essentially Uniwords is the 3D and AI autonomous words assets. And that's going to be one of the first protocols that are going to be launched on Fractal. So it might be a smart idea to pick up some of these keys. Of course, not in financial advice, guys. I'm just speculating uh, what might happen and what protocols might be used when it comes to Fractal. So the another thing that I want to show you today is how you can run your node on Bitcoin Fractal. So there's no guarantee that you're going to get anything from it. You can essentially do it for the testing purposes and essentially if you want to learn more about Bitcoin and potentially you might contribute somehow to the network and it might be useful. So we never know if you want to get started with it. The first step you will need to do is you need to have the virtual box or VMware. This is the essentially machine that is going to be hosted on your computer. So you don't install anything locally on your machine. You do it within this uh, machine. So essentially you install another operating system on top of your computer. Once you're going to have that, you also you'll need to have the uh, ISO file, which is the uh, Ubuntu that you're going to install within this uh, virtual box. And once you're going to have that, you're going to have another operating system like, for example, I do. So this is the Ubuntu that is hosted on my Windows machine. So before you're going to do anything, you will need to essentially update your system. So you need to do sudo uh, app update. And now this is going to start updating your system. You can also do sudo app upgrade, which is going to upgrade some drivers and some packages so once you got that ready the next thing you will need to do is to install the git uh, command which is going to essentially uh, download the um, files from repositories like for example from uh, from github we will do sudo app install git and as you can see i have that already installed so once you have that ready you can go to the main unisat uh, github repository which you can find in my post so essentially you want to copy this link git clone and then paste that command i already have that done so you can see i have this uh, file on my desktop and the step number three is you want to change directory to that folder so you go over here and do like cd uh, fractal and the next one you want to go to the fractal x86 so cd fractal then x86 and once you are in here you want to create the data folder so you will need to do mcard there and then data i have my folder already created so i'm not going to be doing that so we done the mkdir data then you want to go ahead and copy the config file onto data folder so copy the config file and you want to paste that to data so it's essentially going to copy and paste so i already did that but if you haven't copy it then go back to your terminal and paste that in there press enter and that's going to be completed the next one what you want to do is to go back to this tweet and then you will need to start your node so copy it and then go back to your terminal and then paste that in and then press enter and that's basically it what you'll need to do you can't do anything with it anything extra um, you can also run another terminal if you are more technical and if you want to explore some commands you can go to for example bin folder which is the folder within all of the different uh, commands execu executable files you can do ls la and you'll see all of the different files that you can see in here like for example bitcoin cli so this is the command line tool you can also do some utils, some commands to create your own wallet. So, for example, if you want to run it, you can do Bitcoin slash wallet. And if you want to find more information about this, you can do, uh, you'll need to find this command. So, so that's going to be the wallet uh, equals wallet name. So you can do wallet equals uh, wallet one. And then at the end, you'll need to do like create. So 
create and that's going to pop up and it's going to show you the wallet and all of the different information so that's going to be only essential if you are a developer and if you are creating some cool applications using fractal if you are just beginner and if you want to just play with it you can definitely check through all of different commands but it's not necessary to do anything extra beyond running your own node this is only for the educational uh, purpose so right now you can't do you can't do anything with it uh, if they're going to add something definitely keep eye on, on the fractal official twitter account and also if you want to participate within the fractal ecosystem you can go ahead to this tweet you can dm them maybe they're going to send you some uh, testnet tokens so right now only the selected participant can use the testnet and is only uh, enabled to initial group of developers and people that want to uh, test the uh, functionality so they're going to have the fractal token in the future but right now they are currently working on the development and I just want to show you uh, what you can do. And we already have some apps running, like for example, mempool. So you can see the latest blocks. So we've got 98. And if you go to our node, um, the, our latest block is also 98. So it's up to date with the mempool. So we are contributing to the network and we are actively participating. You can also see they have the Fractal Live on Unisat. This is Explorer and it's in beta version so uh, you can search for certain blocks if you want you can also go to the protocol and you'll see all of different applications that i think is going to be really essential when it comes to potentially making gains and here this is the testnet environment that if you have some testnet tokens you can go ahead and mint some of these tokens you can also trade some so definitely something to keep an eye on because when fractal is going to be launched on mainnet uh, I believe some of the early opportunities, some of the early protocols are going to be worth quite a lot. And you can compare that to some of these uh, runes protocols that launched super early that did 10 to even 100x. So definitely, I want to put these guys on your radar so you're not going to miss out. Of course, it's going to be also compatible with runes. BRC 22.0. We're going to have inscriptions, stable coins. Um, it's going to be rune compatible and BRC 2.0 protocols swapped liquidity pool so you can see everything on the screenshot and most importantly probably uh the thing that most people care about is the official fractal token if you're gonna get your hands on these tokens probably it's going to be worth quite a lot right off the bat uh, i don't know how you can qualify for that we can only speculate that maybe pizza maybe sats and maybe some of the uni world ski they're gonna have a certain allocation maybe it's going to be airdrop maybe you're gonna have the opportunity to mint some of these tokens or pre sales so i don't know how this is going to work but we can only speculate how you can prepare for fractal launch and fractal is going to be live in september so i'm gonna link some of these docs in the bio if you want to learn more about this so that's pretty much it guys if you enjoyed this video you can let me know in a comment down below follow me on twitter because this is what updates you with the alpha smash that thumbs up for the youtube algorithm and i'll see you in the next one